In a strategic move to counter the increasing military threats from China, Taiwan has invested 278 million US dollars to bolster its air defense capabilities. This investment, as reported by Taiwan News, an English language online newspaper, focuses on the acquisition of advanced air defense missile systems, including 30 TC 2 mobile missile launchers, 6 combat control centers, 6 phased array radar systems, and 246 Sky Sword 2 air defense missiles. One of the most visible forms of Chinese pressure has been the significant increase in military activity around Taiwan. This includes frequent incursions by Chinese military aircraft into Taiwan's Air Defense Identification Zone ADIZ, and naval exercises in the Taiwan Strait. These actions are not just demonstrations of military might, they also serve as a test of Taiwan's defense capabilities and resolve. Such military maneuvers are often interpreted as a means of intimidation and a signal of Beijing's readiness to assert its claims over Taiwan. Picture Source Reddit in addition to military posturing, China has been actively working to diplomatically isolate Taiwan on the international stage. This effort involves persuading countries that formally recognize Taiwan to switch their recognition to the People's Republic of China PRC. Furthermore, Beijing has been blocking Taiwan's participation in international organizations, effectively limiting its global diplomatic presence and influence. This strategy aims to undermine Taiwan's international standing and legitimacy as a separate entity from the PRC. These actions are part of a broader strategy by China to assert its claims over Taiwan, reflecting the long-standing and deep-rooted tensions between the two. The increasing military and diplomatic pressure highlights the complex and often strained relationship, underscoring the challenges Taiwan faces in maintaining its de facto independence while navigating the delicate balance of cross-strait relations. Central to this air defense system acquisition is the TC-2 air defense system, which has been rigorously tested and refined. Initially facing challenges in meeting the Taiwanese Army's requirements, the system was eventually approved for large-scale production after successful evaluations in July. The TC-2 system's land-based version, the TC-2N, features the missile in a sealed container launcher. The system's canister is 4 meters, 13 feet, long, and the combined weight of the canister and missile is about 350 kilograms 770 pounds. The missile is equipped with mid-course inertial guidance, a data link, terminal active radar guidance, and an electronic counter-countermeasure, ECCM, capability. However, without the booster found in its naval counterpart, the TC-2N's effective range is limited to 15 kilometers, 9.3 miles. Complementing the TC-2 system is the Sky Sword 2 missile, developed by Taiwan's National Chungshan Institute of Science and Technology. This missile can reach up to 15 kilometers in range and is a key component of Taiwan's layered air defense strategy. The TC-2 air defense system, when deployed, will work in conjunction with the US-made Avenger missile system. This combination is intended to fill gaps in Taiwan's air defense, achieving a layered interception effect. Each TC-2 system is capable of firing between 16 and 20 Sky Sword 2 missiles, providing a robust defense against various aerial threats. This significant investment in advanced military technology is a clear indication of Taiwan's commitment to defending its sovereignty and maintaining a credible defense posture amidst the growing regional tensions. The deployment of these systems is expected to significantly enhance Taiwan's air defensive capabilities, contributing to the stability and balance of power in East Asia.